I welcome my colleagues back to the Senate after an August work period that saw both passion and profound sadness across our country. Each of us heard from our constituents over the past few weeks. In Nevada, I heard from citizens across my state who are ready for us to pick up where we left off. They're ready for us to get back to the hard work of legislating. They're ready for us to move forward on one of the most critical issues of our time and the life's cause of our late colleague, Senator Ted Kennedy, making it easier to afford to live a healthy life in America. Only by working together, not as Democrats or Republicans, but as Americans, not as partisans, but as partners, can we put the jobless back to work, make sure everyone can afford to stay healthy, and create a new clean energy economy for this new century. While many important choices remain, we're as committed as ever to a plan that will protect what works, fix what doesn't, and help the middle class get ahead. We'll stabilize health insurance for those who have it, and help secure it for those who don't. The American people know our vision of reform means keeping insurance companies honest and not letting them deny you care because you have a pre-existing condition. The way things are now, if you have anything from heart disease to high cholesterol to hay fever, you might be just out of luck. And that's just not right. They know our vision of reform means not allowing health insurance companies to drop your coverage if you become seriously ill. It means ensuring that if you change or lose your job, you will have affordable options to cover your family. The American people have rejected those who pretend things are fine the way they are. They know that unless we get this done, they could lose their health care and so much more along with the health care they lose. And they know that America is no place for those who hope for failure. Inaction is not an option. We've already seen what happens when we do nothing. Over the past eight years of inaction, the cost of health care rose to record levels, and the number of Americans who can't afford insurance did the same. For the millions of families who file for foreclosure because they can't afford both their house and their health care, not acting is not an option. For the millions of Americans who file for bankruptcy because their medical bills grow higher and higher, not acting is not an option. For the millions of Americans who skip doctor visits or treatments they need to stay healthy or who never fill the prescriptions their doctor gives them because health care is simply too expensive, not acting is not an option. Our health care system is not healthy. Americans' physical health and America's fiscal health are at stake, and not acting is not an option. Today is the first day since January 2nd, 1953, that a man named Kennedy does not have a desk on the floor of the United States Senate or in the Oval Office at the White House. When I think of all the groundbreaking progress we've made over those 56 and a half years in civil rights, education, health care, and America's global leadership, I know we have no choice but to keep going. Now is no time to let up. Senator Ted Kennedy said last December, just months ago, and I quote, we know the future will outlast all of us. But I believe that all of us will live on in the future we make. Mr. President, this is a historic moment. This is our time to shape our future. We stand closer to real health insurance reform than ever before. We're closer than ever to getting this right. We will not let the priorities of the partisan overpower those of the people.